Hello and welcome again to my channel. Um, on this episode, I want to talk about finance. But before I do so, um, let's recall that in the last episode, uh, we spoke about the challenge we had in labor to fix all the finishing materials that we had and how it was overcome by importing labor from Gambia and Senegal into Nigeria and um, how we overcome the challenges. So on this one, as I said, I want to talk about finance. And if you remember, I did advise in one of the episodes that one should avoid bank facilities or bank loans. Most developers or most businesses will tell you that I don't have the finance. How do I do it? Now, one, we had a track record. People knew who we are. And um, we marketed our, pro pro our project very well. So we, we could sell our, our properties off plan, meaning that we started by preparing all our marketing material, um, uh, brochures, we did seminars, we went to offices around Port Harcourt, you know, marketing our material, our, 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 our product, which, is the, which are the houses. Then we started, you know, from our own finances and people were paying off plan, meaning we sold them the plan and then they were paying stages. So they were paying by stages. Now, whilst the project was progressing, because people had confidence in us, our cash flow was excellent. We didn't need bank financing. But one thing that I would like to say here on a very light note, that banks will only give you an umbrella when the sun is shining. Never when it's raining. When it's raining and you need an umbrella, don't go to the bank. They will never give you an umbrella. Now, when the sun is shining, they will give you an umbrella. Meaning, if they see that money is flowing in, that's the time they will approach you to give you money. And I think basically what that means, that they have confidence because they know that you can generate the funds to pay back the loan, you know, if they give you any. But if you are struggling with funds, if you go there, they would hardly give you any money. So because they saw all this money that we are being paid by clients, you know, inflows that we are going into the banks, um, uh, they, uh, one, of, one of the bankers approached me. Somebody that I, I knew a long time before I went to Nigeria. I knew him, you know, when um, uh, he, well, he came to Banjul since they had a branch here. And this was the CEO of the bank. So he, we, we, we were acquaintances, we were friends. So he came to visit the project. He was the head of the bank in, uh, in Nigeria. And when he saw, saw what we were doing, he said, look, why can't you come? Come and talk to me. So I went to see him in Lagos. And um, he asked whether I needed any financing. And my answer was, well, no. He said, well, no, I'm sure you will need some. Tell me whatever you need. You know, we will meet your needs. So at the time, I must be very honest, I had no plans whatsoever of taking any bank finance. But I just worked it out. You know, um, it was very tempting. And um, I finally um, accepted to take some facility from the bank. And it was all done within a month. It went through the process of getting board approval and funds were in our account. Now, at times, things are out of your control. It's destiny. And there were two things on this. One, when we were giving the money, I pre-ordered all the materials. So, and then stocked them up. So that helped. And the finance that were raised were also in Naira. And at the time, the Naira was about roughly 160 Naira to $1. So we took the money and uh, invested it in the project, imported the materials. Now, as we went on, we had a challenge uh, because um, the governor at the time, 
you know, had moved from one party to the other. You know, from one party uh, to, a, to another party that wasn't the ruling party. So, some little bit of confidence were lost. And our sales dropped. And cash flow also started being a problem. Not only that, but around 2015, 2016, we saw the Naira losing value. So people's ability to buy the units, you know, was a bit of a challenge. So the project was extended and um, we had difficulty in paying back the loan at the right time. So an extension was granted. And you know, when you take bank loan, the slower it takes for you to pay, the interest keeps mounting up. So we paid the loan. By now, the loan has all been paid up. But a challenge was that we paid much more than what we took, more than what we anticipated. The good thing was that because we took it in Dallasi, we took it in, sorry, in Naira, we had to pay Naira back. But by the time we finished paying the, um, the, the loan, the currency devalued from 160 Naira to the dollar to over 400 Naira to the dollar. So I thank God that we took the loan and it was in Naira. It was, if it was a foreign loan in dollars, I'm sure we wouldn't have been able to pay it up. But thank God it was in Naira, we paid it up. Obviously we lost a lot because of um, the currency loss. And also the economy wasn't doing well because at the time that we started the project, oil was at about $110 a barrel. And then at the time that we were paying back our loan, it went as low as about $30 per barrel. And therefore, the economy wasn't doing well and we suffered. But all the same, we kept on, we find ways and means of, um, of, of respecting our commitment and the liability was paid off. So again, takeaway on this episode is that if I were any of you watching who wants to go into projects like this, try and avoid bank financing as much as possible. As I said earlier, because the banks will only give you an umbrella when the sun is shining, never when it's raining. Raining meaning when you are in trouble. So, um, and again, if you have a commitment with the banks, try and pay up as quickly as possible. Never take your profits before um, the project completes. Some developers do do that. They make their projections and start, you know, taking their profits and di divert diverting it. Well, that's one thing that I would advise on this episode, that always honor your liability with your banks. Avoid it if you can. But if you can't, make sure you pay up on time. Thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to press that subscribe button and follow on the link below.